mafuta gad jaza mafuta lipa baadaye Meneta Somba tunaenda kuzungumza na Sabelo pamoja na Mukala na mabondia wengine kina Mwakembe tupate maoni yao kuhusiana na tukio hili la kupima uzito wapo baadhi ya mabondia hawajafika pia tutazungumza na promoter karibu Sabelo unjani Eh hey, I'm good I'm good I'm good Ni mpira wewe unjani Ah ndio mpira na mkondo kunjani kwa Sio sio Sabra Okay uh, tell us uh, your preparation about this fight uh, Uh, although this uh thanks and uh, thanks man uh, for for the interview um i prepare for this fight because uh, they I've, i've received a call uh, while i was also like uh, started to uh, to be in a camp i was like almost uh, two weeks in a camp so the fight was about like in 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 three weeks time so I received the call uh, for this fight like a short notice short notice fight I won't die but I, I always keep myself fit in the gym yeah but I'm ready for the fight for tomorrow do you know well your opponent uh yeah I've I've I've, I've, I've got some time to study uh, my opponent uh, Rashid uh, for almost uh, uh, three weeks I've been I've been checking his uh, previous fights on YouTube Uh, where he was fighting by an uh, old man uh, from Ongani Matangu uh, the old man from 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 South Africa Matangu you, you see there are two fights of him yes 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 yeah. first and second one he fought twice the fought twice and Matangu the first one he won by knockout yeah. i watched that one and the second fight uh, Matangu was oh, was a close fight but uh, he give to uh, Rashidi why you say they give to Rashidi uh, because i see Matangu was more like uh, Uh, dominating to the fight the way i was seeing it in terms of scoring uh, points and he was do more of uh, hitting uh, more more punches like delivering more punches more than uh, rashid uh, but apart from that you get any messages or advice for bongani uh not really uh, no no not really not really didn't get anything from matangu any advice nothing from matangu what the strength of tony rashid Uh Tony Rashid is just um, a normal boxer I would say uh, it's not more like technical it's more about more of using his power coming forward putting pressure that's all you saw the two fights of Bongani and Tony Rashid first one and second one what was the best one to you Uh the best one was the first one the way I was seeing it yeah because your brother is won No not really and then because uh Tony was more like aggressive like and you know and I said and catching Matlangu like it was more convincing that he's, he's winning the fight uh, yeah But, um what is your weight about boxing influence in Tanzania Yeah it's, it's it's fine like it's the same nothing new boxing is the same You are fighter but you can predict your fight because uh, you know well your opponent you say that and you are uh, you prepared well uh, tell us your prediction about this fight uh, prediction of the fight is to come here and do my best in the ring probably i'm looking for winning uh, all the rounds and then the knockout must be bonus in your local language talk to your fan in South Africa in order to make them to understand what is going on in Tanzania Okay uh Tanzania eh uh, I take the country right uh abantu bakhona noko banobuntu and eh ipoxing ndibona ubaba i support eh ya abaphumena ngobuninzi eh we but ke yachisa yo it's hot yo awe awe Bwana baada ya Sabelo tunazungumza na Mukala kuhusiana na fight Mukala how are you bro I'm okay I'm okay man Are you good very good bro. Um, tell us uh, your experience here in Tanzania. Oh, I love Tanzania. I love Tanzania. It's my first time to be here. I love the people. The way they love boxing. They came to support boxing. I'm, so I'm very excited to put a good show. To put a good show tomorrow. But, so, but tell us about the boxing influence in Tanzania. No, no, no. I can see uh, people here love boxing. I could see myself. You know, see how many people come support for the way in. And I'm sure tomorrow it's going to be it's going to be full. Is there any special particular preparation about the fight? 
I had a really camp, very good camp training, very, very good camp training. I came to fight uh, a star of Tanzania, Telemani Kidunda, which is, he never showed up here at the wedding. It's very dis disrespectful for himself and for the people in Tanzania. So, um, yeah, that's what I, I could say. It is, uh, are you disappointed for this uh, situation? Yeah, he's disappointed for, him, for himself, for, for me, and for his people who came to support him. You know, which is not good. This boxing. He must stop being a coward and come and fight. So what is next? Because you said that he, not, he didn't show up in the wagon. I'm still watching for I'm still in Tanzania. Anytime I want to fight him. Yeah. It's your time to talk with your fan about the fight. Yeah. Uh, I'm telling my, my fan, Kidunda never show up here. I came here to fight him. He never show up. They, I'm here. I'm here to fight Kidunda. They must bring him here. In Congolese local language, you can talk to your fan in order to make them to understand what is going on in Tanzania. Okay. I wanna first talk with my home language. Bana betu bamu kasai, bana betu bamu Congo mujima. Betu abwe. Ngayo wabino Patrick Mukala, le boxeur congolais, professionnel qui fait la fierté du Congo. Je suis arrivé ici à Tanzanie. L'adversaire n'est pas venu. C'est vraiment, euh, euh, comment je peux dire, disappointment, you know. Uh, apart from that, your camp, it was in South Africa or in Congo? I had camp in South Africa. I went in Beckville for for three weeks. We had a good camp training, and we came back in Johannesburg. We finished there. Tell us um, uh, your words, the words of your coach to you about this fight. No, we we had um, a game plan. We had a game plan. Me and my team. So yeah, I can't repeat here. You know, that's secret our, uh, for our team. You know. Anavuambia na wale watu wa karibu kweli dogo inafika hatua anaingia uoga kama hivi sasa anapigwa simu hapo K anasema anakuja 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 cha siku ndo kama hivi lakini kiachana na hilo kiongozi kwa mimi binafsi mimi nikela sana baba zangu hata promote atoka awe mimi nimwambia nikaambia amekataa chichi mawe huyu dogo amekubali ana mechi 10 K hiyo 9 lakini hizo 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 K hiyo 9 au mechi 10 amechezea sehemu gani mbona kama dogo Namuna wa kawaida ni mkali lakini hajawahi kucheza ile mechi ambazo tough kidogo. Ni kama promoter. Anyway, sio mbaya mimi tajiandaa au sio tajiandaa. Nikijua kabisa nitakutana na bundia mkali. Asa leo nashangaa afya dogo dogo kila kitu kila kitu. Asa hebu naniambia maandishi watu kama tuwafanye nini baba zangu. Maana yake umekuwa nitaki. Kimbe mbali na na, na kwanza kujisikia vibaya kutokana na hili ambalo limetokea. Kwa kiasi gani umeingia hasara? Fedha muda na maandalizi kabisa kabisa baba zangu kweli nime ni yani kwamba kwa sababu ukiangalia mikoani kwa watu tayari washakaa wakijua kama makembe kesho wanafanya kesho kutwa wanapigana tarehe 24 yani kuanzia hili kama kamba kwa mbeya mpaka jombe kote na Tanzania na watanzania kwa ujumla kwamba makembe kesho kesho kutwa wanapigana sasa leo hii tena wanasikia tena makembe bwana apigane mpinzani yake 1 2 3 sasa tayari ni tatizo makembe Uliona mwakinyo aliposti kwamba kuna glavu mpya kama atakugaia kutokana na ile kauli yako aliyotoa alipokuwa akiojua za TV kutokana na mchango wa Hasani katika boxing. Uh, hizi pongezi ama hii kauli ama hii post uliona na kama hujaiona unamwambia nini Hasani? Aliniambia kwamba atanigea glavu. Yeah. Uh, mimi mwakinyo toka awali mimi nishasema mwakinyo ni bondia ambaye mimi namrespect. Kwa nini namrespect baza? Mwakinyo zile wewe ndo amefanya uandishi kama hivi umekuwa sasa hivi mkutoji ngumi sasa hivi zikiwa zinaonyesha live mtu kwenye nyumba na ngala ngumi si unajua e, yani mpaka mabosi mpaka makampuni yameingia kwenye masala nini lakini yote aliyoleta ni aliyofanya nani ni makinyo makinyo baada ya kuperform kule kule Uingereza ikaonekana kumbe huu mchezo kuna watu wanajua wa Tanzania kwa hiyo kufanya hapa tu support kwa namna nyingine na ni kweli mimi baada nampa respect sana amefanya hivyo na kweli mpaka sasa hivi baada unamwona watu tunapigana sasa hivi live kesho watu wako live eh bila chenga chenga kwa hiyo mimi baada nam respect sana sada mambo vipi poa mbona kama una maki sana leo tatizo nini no 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 siko si maki am fine selemani kidunda tujamuona hapa abedi pia hatujamuona hapa Taarifa ambayo ninao ni kwa Abedi tu. Abedi mama yake anaumwa madale na wakati napima uzito nimekuta misikoli yake hapa. Ndio na hapa najaribu kumpigia kumtafuta. So sizani kama kwa pande yake kuna shida. Simona misikoli yake hapa sasa 6 dakika 14. Na kwa kwa na simu. Kidunda vipi? Kidunda sina taarifa yoyote. 
sina taarifa yote kwake na hajatoa taarifa yote official sababu yeye ameseni mkataba tangu mwezi wa kumi na moja na amesaini mkataba official kwenye legal paper kabisa tumezingatia vigezi vyote na masharti yanayotambulika kwa jamhuri yetu Aa, kwa hiyo kama kungeo kuna mabadiliko yoyote nadhani uh, angeaslisha ofisini kwetu kwa sababu sisi sio kama tuna ofisi tunayo address ofisi zetu ziko Mali Street angekuja ofisini au mwakilishi wake angeleta official letter kama kuna mabadiliko yote atakao fanye kwenye mkataba sababu ana mkataba waga mabadiliko afanye kwa maneno ndapo asipotokea kabisa makubaliano yenu ni yapi uh, asipotokea kabisa uh, mimi nitaenda kushtaki kwenye vyombo vya sheria PBRC ama PBRC nitashitaki kama kwa sababu anasimamia commission lakini lazima hii kesi iende mahakamani kwa sababu hii ni biashara umebook flight za watu zaidi ya nane wanakaa hotelini wanakula cost zote za matangazo radio social network magazeti yani promotion ni, ni kubwa ambayo nimeifanya sababu nimeweza kufanya tangu mwezi wa 12 kwa hiyo hizo gharama zote atazilipa kwa sababu amealibu pambano kwa makusudi nimesikia taarifa kwa watu wenye jaribu kusema anaumwa lakini haumwi ndipo kwa sababu kama angekuwa anaumwa TPBRC hana taarifa yoyote amejaribu kuchekicheki watu kwa ajili ya kufeki na vyote vinaturudia tuna voice note zake lakini asipotokea tutavitumia kama ushahidi hapo mbeleni kwa sababu hii ni biashara ya mtu asifanye mchezo watu wameinvest their money tumeinvest pesa tumeinvest time kwa hiyo asichukulie poa endapo ikitokea kaja siku ya fight mimi alhamdulillah fight itaendelea mimi sina shida mimi nimetengeneza fight watu waje wapiganie ubingwa kwa hiyo akija sawa ila asipokuja utachukua hatua zafata zingine za kisheria Mafuta gad. Jaza mafuta lipa baadaye.